In this video I'm showing you how to install the latest Marlin firmware on your ANET A8 3D printer. Coming up right now! Hi, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. On this channel I'm reviewing 3D printers, drones and other gadgets and I'm doing regular videos every week about 3D printing in general and what you can improve on your ANET printer for example. This is what this video is about today. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Marlin firmware onto your ANET A8 3D printer. They are going to do this in several steps and we are starting with the preparations. You have to have your computer nearby your 3D printer in the end. So it doesn't work probably with your desktop computer unless your 3D printer is standing nearby and you have a long USB cable because in the end we'll have to flash the firmware onto the printer using the USB cable. Um, so I'm using a laptop for this and let's go into the preparation steps. So in the first step we're downloading the Arduino IDE software from the Arduino homepage. For that we're going to do uh, is going to open the Arduino homepage. Um, it's arduino.cc and then go to software downloads. Although you might be seeing another version of the Arduino IDE in the following sections, I recognize that there is a bug in the current version 186. Uh, and therefore, we need to go and download actually a previous release. That's only for the Windows version of the Arduino IDE. If you are using a Linux version that might work, but the Windows version, the current one, has a problem compiling the firmware, so go and download 185 for now. So here we go and click on previous releases of the current release and then download the 185 release. I'm going to use the zip file and here we could contribute to the project. I'm just going to download it to my computer, save it and then wait for it to finish downloading. Okay, it's done. So we can unpack it now, open the folder and then there you see I've got the newer version which doesn't work but we're going to use the 185 version, that's important. Extract it to folder. Okay, it's done. Let's briefly open it to see whether it works or not. Uh, click on the Arduino Exe. Seems to be opening. Yes, so now. By the way, you need Java on your machine for this to run. So if you don't have it, you will be prompted to install it. I put the link in the description below too. Okay, seems to work. And let's go for the next steps. Okay, step two is to download the Arduino board definitions. Uh, we need this for the Arduino IDE to know how to flash the software onto the ANET board. So to do that, we're going to visit a website that is called GitHub. That's the it's a website where code is hosted, basically where the source codes of the Marlin firmware and also the board definitions are hosted. This URL, github.com slash skynet3d slash anet dash board. Um, here we download the latest version um, by clicking download and a zip file. So we're going to save this file open the folder, unzip it and then we'll have a folder here um, which we are going to copy into our local user profile. So right here it says on Windows you're going to open your documents folder, open the Arduino folder and then the hardware subfolder and if none of these folders exist we're going to create them and then uh, we're going to copy the hardware folder into that folder, right? And 
Next is we're opening the Arduino ID to prove that the definitions are there. And here we are, we're going to go to tools, then board, and then we're looking in the list for the init. And one important thing is not to select the OptiBoot option because um, this is only if you have a special bootloader installed on the board, which I have not. And I'm not going to do this because you need a special programming tool for that, a hardware, basically. So I'm going to select the Anit version 1.0. Okay, step three is to download the Marlin firmware from GitHub. Um, by the way, I'm putting all the links that you need, links to the Arduino IDE, links to the ANET board definitions and the source code of the Marlin firmware and also the configuration sample uh, in the description below this video. So check it out. You don't have to look it up uh, using the video. So we're going to go to GitHub uh, and download the firmware from there. So I'm going to GitHub and then entering the address github.com marlin firmware slash marlin slash releases. There we'll get a list of current versions. So the most current version is on top and we can directly download the source code of that version to the computer. Then let's open the folder and unzip this zip file. So here it is, Marlin 1.1.9, that's the current version. And this can be opened with the Arduino IDE now. Step four is to connect your printer to your computer using the USB cable. So we'll plug in the USB cable and then we make sure that the printer is turned on. In the same moment, your computer will install a so-called COM port and that COM port is, in my case, it's called COM3. So it could be, in your case, another port. If you go to the Arduino ID and open the Tools menu, you will see the port appearing uh, here in the Port submenu. So we're going to select COM3 as our port to upload the firmware to. Step 5 is we're going to configure the Marlin firmware for our ANET printer. And that is done by using a sample configuration file and then modifying that sample configuration file for your printer. So the configuration file can be found in the Marlin firmware folder. So where we downloaded the source code zip file and unzipped it, we go to that folder and then open the Marlin subfolder and then the example configurations folder. Go to the ANET folder and then to the A8 folder. Here we have a file that's called configuration.h. We're going to use that file by copying it using copy and then go back to the Marlin folder. Um, there is already a configuration file, but we are going to override it with the init default file. So go there and say paste. You're going to be asked, yes, replace the file. Good. Step six is to compile the Marlin firmware using the Arduino IDE. For that, we're going into the Arduino IDE and then we are opening the project file, which is in the folder where you downloaded the sources of the Marlin firmware and then in the subfolder Marlin. You're looking for a file that's called marlin.eno. And then we're opening that. What happens then is a new window is opened with the project and then we can just try to verify if all files compile by clicking the verify button here. And we're done. So this is the last step and this is where it gets exciting every time. We're uploading the firmware now to the printer and see if it works. For that, because we have already verified that firmware compiles, we verify a last time that we have all the settings right. So we're going to 
see, okay, we have selected the right board, the Anit V1.0, and not the one with the bootloader. Um, and we have selected our COM port correctly. So let's hit the upload button now. Okay, we're done. And um, during the upload process, you will see that um, the printer restarts and then the Marlin firmware version is going to be shown. So that's the good sign for you to see whether you have successfully uploaded the firmware or not. And now we can go print with our new firmware. So that's it for today's video about flashing the latest Marlin firmware to your ANET A8 printer. Thanks for watching. Please use the comment section below to ask any questions and use the community um, to connect to people that might have other ideas and solutions. I will be there for you to answer all the questions. If you like that video, please uh, subscribe to my channel for other videos and also ring, hit the bell to be notified um, every time I'm posting a new video. Um, like it if you're into that and see you next week for a new video.